Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to write, uh, uh, how to use a loop in a Linux shell script. So this is a shell script uh, where I will write a program of checking prime numbers within certain range. And um, uh, in this, uh, uh, the main target is not uh, how to. Uh, find prime numbers but to show you how to manipulate uh, nested loops in shell script so let's start the program and uh, I'm just writing this program because my Linux is my whole guest operating system and this is a video video recording so I'm writing this the code in Windows and just uh, will copy this to a Linux uh, to in the uh, terminal uh, SSH terminal client uh, and I can also write it here but uh, because there is uh, certain uh, colors appears which makes uh, re readability very com complicated so I'm writing it on plus 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 on Windows so first to start with we write uh, this is the identification of a script bin bash then you can provide author name this is optional this is not mandatory but still I'm making it as a habit date today is month 08 date 07 now we'll start the program Since we will take a dynamic uh, input from the user, so we are printing a prompt, say enter range. Then I will use the read command, which will, I will take a variable range, which will take the input as in the range. And after that, I will take the number which which is uh, actually uh, will be checked as whether prime or not so that number is num and I will initiate it to 1 so it will start from 1 and go until range and check each of the value of num whether it is prime or not now we will, I will start the loop while dollar num less than dollar range okay since we will check less than or equal to so we will put hyphen any less than or equal to range Just uh, with shell range, okay. Now do done. I have missed uh, put the loop here. Now I will take a variable called dollar i, so which will be equal to equal to two. No, it's not dollar i. It's i i equal to 2 now what we will do we will here start another loop now this loop what we will do it will check for the prime number whether it is prime or not so what we will do why dollar i less than less than dollar num to done now what it will do if dollar num percent dollar i and put a dollar sign outside equals zero okay let me just uh, I remember I need another variable called flag 
I'll explain you what flag does. I'll explain you just uh, very soon. If this happens, that means if uh, num is divisible by i, then obviously it is not a prime number. Okay, it is not a prime number. So I'll put flag equal to 1. Now this is okay, this is done. If uh, we are starting from 1 and, and dollar i is this, 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 actually checking from 2. So what will happen to, for 1 and 2? What will happen? So we should keep a check for that. So this checking of prime number will occur if dollar num dollar num is less than or equal to 2 I mean sorry greater than or equal to 2 uh, greater than or equal to 3 sorry or you can say greater than 2 then this will happen else if I Else what will I do? I will just put, set the flag to 1. That means if uh, it is greater than 2, I am checking for the prime number. If it is 1 and 2, I will just straight away put in the flag equal to 1 so that uh, it will just identify as a, as a non-prime number. So now if it is greater than 2, from 3 onwards, I am just checking for whether it is prime or not. So this is done here. So we have set all the flag, and obviously, I, I another task is re remained here. One is select i plus equal to one. Another is let num plus equal to one. Okay. So I will be incremented for checking here, you can understand, for the div dividing the number with uh, the series of number and num is for checking each prime number within the range, will be incremented by 1, first it will check for 3, then 4, then 5, then 6, it will go on. Now here, see, if, where well it is done, uh, okay. If dollar flag equals one, that means equal dollar num is not prime. Else, let's put there five. copy and paste is prime if it is 0 then it is prime so I think it's almost done ok first uh, let's run it and uh, we'll see whether any error, error occurred now we'll copy paste this one in our terminal ok for, for, uh, there is a previous uh, we will just delete that one yes vio is prime dot sh so I have pasted it I will save it and just test it source is prime dot sh one. Yeah, there is a problem. Line twenty nine. Okay, it's the same mistake. Uh, it's a very silly mistake. I forgot put the den here and else spelling is also wrong 
Okay, let's see. One is not prime, two is not prime, three is prime, four is not prime, five is prime, six is not prime, seven is prime, eight is not prime, nine is not prime, ten is not eleven, ten. Okay, let's do one thing. We just comment out the else part and only check the prime numbers. I mean, if if part, just comment this one. Let's see what happens. Okay, cannot comment it out. We'll just put this as zero and comment the other part. Open this one and make it prime. Okay, let's put a greater number. Uh, hundred. Okay, so now you can see. Uh, We have written the nested loop here. Just a moment. I have written the nested loop here, so I am just making some correction here. Then. <coughs> Maybe if I can copy this one, then it will be nice. Let's see. <coughs> copy it from here and paste it. Yes. Okay, so I'll just uh, make it as it, it is as it is before. Yes, it's fine. So this is how we can write nested loop emission <laughs> script. And also, I've shown you the if then else condition, how to write it. So, <coughs> it's all about this video. Thank you very much.